What's going on, y'all? 805 Just here, Just 805. A little college football action from this weekend. Colorado, they get a lot of press. Why? Their coach is Deion Sanders, a.k.a. Coach Prime. They got a pretty good defense. They got a great D-line, I would say, or, you know, above average D-line. And, of course, uh, their offense is nice. Uh, they're, they're being led by Shadur Sanders, who is also one of uh, – Deion Sanders' sons, uh, one of Coach Sanders' sons, uh, he's in the talks for Heisman, uh, for winning the Heisman Award. So, uh, you know, they've got great options. They've got great athletes, but they've also got a liability on defense. Who's that liability? Pardon me, liability. That liability is number 21. Number 21 is Shiloh Sanders. You're going to see him fall right there. That's him. He's got the white gloves on. Number 21, Shiloh Sanders, that's also one of Deion Sanders' son. Uh, he's almost 25 years old. This is a grown man out there. He'll be 30 in five years. He's already graduated. He has his degree. And he just came back from an injury. Another great play from their defense. Like I said, they have a pretty good D-line. They got some good linebackers. But Deion Sanders got a son out there on defense who is a liability. He's not good. Look at this number. 21, bad angle on the tackle. Has to chase down the running back. And now, for those of y'all that don't know, Shiloh Sanders, you know, son of Deion Sanders, uh, he just came back from an injury about a week or two ago. He, I think he broke his forearm or something like that. So my thing is this. Is he playing timid out there because, you know, he just came back from being hurt? Or is he really just this bad? My opinion, he really is just this bad. Why? Because he was playing like this before he got hurt. On this play right here, he missed the first tackle. That first guy that you guys saw fly in there, that was Shiloh Sanders. Another play, pass right down the middle, Shiloh Sanders, 21. In my opinion, that could have been a pick. Quarterback got hit on the throw. The pass was a little behind the receiver. Here's another opportunity. They got the backup quarterback in now. There's Shiloh Sanders misses the first tackle. He's diving at grass. He's he's reaching for air. Let me remind you all, Shiloh Sanders, son of Deion Sanders, is a starter. Division, that was him on his knees. Did y'all see that? Did y'all see the young man on his knees just now? Ankles broken. And this running back for Kansas State is not a Heisman uh, running back. This guy is a regular running back. Oh, did you see that there? 21. Shiloh Sanders, once again, letting his man get by him. I'm like, is the young man just slow? Is he not as athletic as we thought or as what people think? Anyway, Shiloh Sanders, son of the coach, Deion Sanders, a.k.a. Coach Prime, he needs to be benched, and he needs to be benched immediately. This young man is not built. I don't know if it's because his age, maybe because he's about to be 25. You know, he's a little slower because he's getting older. Or is he really just not that good? And in my opinion, and I feel like a lot of people, I've seen a lot of comments on social media, even talking to people that I know personally, they say the defense was playing better without Shiloh Sanders. And my thought is this. Let's be real. Shiloh's going on 25. He already has his degree. All he's doing is playing football right now. The majority of people don't believe he's an NFL prospect. They don't believe he's going to get drafted, right? Coach Prime, Deion Sanders, should have no problem benching his son at this point. This is his second oldest son, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. He is, uh, his oldest son is Deion Sanders Jr., and then I think Shiloh is the second oldest, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, but I think that's the order of things, right? Deion Sanders needs to make a executive decision and say, look, son, you're not playing well. And he did this. They had a uh, they had a press conference after the game. And he said Shiloh played horrible. He had a lot of uh, missed tackles and whatnot. In this video alone, as you all see in the highlights again, I counted. There's like eight. Uh, uh, and it's a combination of missed tackles and uh, and like bad plays where, you know, maybe it wasn't a missed tackle, but. Uh, you know, he had an opportunity where he could have got a pick or, you know, he had a bad angle just, and I'm like, to be a, to be playing division one football, you're playing in the big 12 for the university of Colorado, the buffs. And this is how you're playing. And in my, my, to me, it's not only a bad look for Shiloh, but it's a bad look for Deion Sanders. Cause it's like, bruh, this is your son. 
He wears your number. Deion Sanders wore the number 21 pretty much his whole NFL career. Your son is out there representing you and this team and the family and the family and he's stinking it up. He's stinking up the place. He's playing terrible. He's playing garbage. He looks garbage out there. So I don't know if Coach Sanders, I don't know if Deion is going to do it, but any other coach, if this wasn't their son, this young man would be on the bench. Because how do you miss almost 10 tackles in one game and you're going on 25 years old? You're older than the majority of the players on the field and and on the rosters of both of these college football teams. And this game was a good game. If you watch the full highlights, you know, you can find them online or if you have ESPN, you can watch it uh, on one of the ESPN channels, I'm sure. It was a good game. They had an opportunity to win this game. But if you count up almost 10 mistakes that Shiloh made, if they had some of those plays back, y'all think they could have won this game a little bit easier? You think the the end result of this game could have went a little bit better, could have maybe been in their favor? I think so. That's that's what I believe. Uh, So I'm just going to be real. If, If it was me, even if that was my son, like it is, I'm benching him. Son, and it's different. It'd be different if this son, you know, if he didn't have his degree already, if he wasn't going on 25, just like, okay, you know, you're trying to make the league and you're about to, but it's like, no, this son, he, he could be potentially taking up somebody else's roster spot or spot on the depth chart right now. And it's only because he's the son of the head coach. Uh, Deion Sanders, coach prime, he's going to have to look past his bias He's going to have to look past that this is my son and I love him and, you know, this is his last year playing college football, blah, blah, blah. Hey, if it's not good for the team, you got to get him out of there. You got to put somebody else in. And, hey, Coach Dion, <laughs> Coach Prime, if you're hearing this, if you're watching this, it's time, man. Go ahead and sit Shiloh down. You know, give him the real. He's not cut from the team, but, you know, he, he can't he can't be starting um, he can't he can't be starting his position. You got to take him out. Uh, you got to take him off, uh, you know, um, the starting squad and, you know, put him on a second string because uh, he is not he's not cutting it. He is not cutting the mustard. And y'all are trying to make a bowl game this year. Y'all are trying to improve me better than y'all were last year. You can't have a player making eight, almost 10 mistakes in one college football game. Uh, uh-uh, Not good. Thank you all for subscribing to the channel. I appreciate you all. Uh, You all are the best. Uh, We have a good time here. Thank you for the views, the comments. And as always, peace, peace.